that I can do one. <laughs> no, because of I am surprised, you know, to see someone like you, some um, young man. I, I want to say it like a uh, young man because of, you are not. Uh, What is wrong with the passport? Some way, passport, me from my wife. The papa, me from the second problem. So, what's the problem? Passport, what's the passport? The quad papa, a friend. I'm a Ghanaian, give me the passport. Do you pay me from the park? Give me the passport. Come, give me the passport. West Africa we are too cheap for an officer to fight you willing and ready to keep you at the border if you fail to give them just a thousand safer maybe a dollar or something like that but anyways uh, I, I'm so down the, the attitude at the borders both the Guinean and the Senegalese side are just demoralizing. Elderly women, elderly men who cannot 
sometimes are four, three square meal. They get to the borders and they are exploited of the little they have. What a pity. Just right in front of me, a Senegalese officer was arguing and yelling at an elderly woman that if she fails to pay, he will not let her go. How can it be? It stresses me. It breaks my heart. And it makes me emotional. Is it because our officers at the borders are not paid to do the job and so they paid them they pay themselves at the borders? Or is it because they are paid but they get extra? Perhaps double from the people they are supposed to protect. Who is responsible for all of this? And who can help us avoid all of this? Very sad. Very sad. Right, okay. It is what it is. I don't even know what to say again. Humanly speaking, I am not excited after crossing the two borders. All the excitement the zeal all gone at the two borders the Guinean side and the Senegalese side all gone gone with the wind but the joy of the Lord is my strength so Heavenly Father, I pray and I thank you for our officers at the borders. Sometimes it feels like we don't have a say. There is nobody speaking on behalf of the citizens of the region. The people who are supposed to protect us, exploit us. Lord, forgive them. For the many mothers they've sent home hungry. For the many fathers sent home confused. Just because they pass at the borders. And the little they had was taken away from them. Lord, forgive. May your light shine at the borders that men and women will recognize evil as evil and avoid it and live as people who love you. Live as people who fear God. May your fear, O oh Lord, spread across our borders here in West Africa and across the continent we forgive them and we pray for them the word says that we should bless those who curse us pray for those who do evil against us that we love our enemies Thank you that West Africa 
is coming under repentance and pay attention to social justice and economic justice all for the glory and honor of your name help us as a region help us as a continent in the name of Christ Jesus my Lord and my God I pray with thanksgiving Amen Actually, even forgot to change the flag from Guinea Bissau to Senegal because of all that happened at the borders, exiting and entering. So, let me just stop somewhere and change it. Flying the Senegalese flag, and I want to officially welcome you to the Republic of Senegal, Aliou Sisse, Senegal, Sadio Manis, Senegal. It is the seventh country on flying flags. We are now in a town called. Jigen Shaw. Yeah, it's one of the biggest towns at the far southeast of Senegal. Certainly the biggest town or the major town before you enter Guinea Bissau. It is definitely not my first time in Senegal, but it is my first time in this part of Senegal. Let, let's just get through this place and top up the fuel so we can continue. I'm glad to experience the eastern southeastern part of Senegal the sun is up and it is baking me in my gears I'm becoming sweaty already <laughs> <laughs> no, because of I am surprised, you know, to see someone like you, some um, young man. Uh, I want to say it like a uh, young man because of, you are not done. Uh, so my problem is I never see this kind of things in my life since. This is the first time I see it. So I'm surprised, and I have right to ask you. Oh yes. You know we are African, and I know we are descent. Today you are in Senegal, like in Zimbabwe, yeah. and, and I am born here. 
I traveling to go to Germany the two times. Wow. Yeah. I'm at this. I say I have my band, public band. Even tomorrow I have my first. I want to do my first festival. So I'm proud of the you. I'm proud of the all of Africa because of that is surprise things. That's right. So every African uh, people want to try to uh, to think about these kind of things, to know your culture, to meet in your people, different people from Africa. It's very important. It's not like every time if you see me, sometimes if I told you maybe like I, I traveling maybe two times to go to Europe, you, you say no 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 you never try and I tried two times. But Africa is a wonderful country, Definitely. and we have to trust that things. Our Africans, we have to try to believe that, to crown up ourselves and to believe ourselves. So thank you. Thank you very much. Great. For encouraging you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We are done at Zigan Show. And then we are back on the road. I think it took a long time after refueling and spending some time catching up with the locals. Uh, Lexis, who is a local artist, but also got the opportunity to travel across Europe. Uh, was just encourage that a brother from Ghana could ride all the way into Senegal and fly the Senegalese flag that really touched his heart to talk about how we Africans are failing to appreciate ourselves it was lovely chatting with him and I'm glad I met him. Like I said, the problem is always at the borders. Nobody bothers you as a fellow African. People are always willing to help share fellowship with you but the impressions the officers create at the border would discourage you stress you frustrate you demoralize you and take your joy away but hey regardless of what you face at the borders keep your joy high and enjoy your own people Let the officers do their worst. We will always continue to enjoy the best of our people. And I repeat that. Allow the officers to do their worst. We will come into the communities, the villages, the cities and towns and have a good fellowship. We enjoy the best of our people. For that, I have testified and I can assure you Soon we shall be crossing the Kasamas River. Kasamas is one of the regions in Senegal in the south. And Zegensho is the biggest town in the Kasamas region. Yeah, we are on the Kasamas River.
they are fishing activities here on the river that was the customer's river the journey continues Thank you.